Let me tell you a joke. Okay. Why do you go to bed every night? Because the bed won't come to you. <laughs> That's a good one, Pepper. I like that. So people are living longer nowadays. And as they are living longer, we are realizing that a lot of these people are affected with dementia. And the growth in people with dementia is exponential all across the world. What we would like to do is help with care provision. And we would like to use technology in that. My name is Pepper. What are you driven to do? I am driven to help dementia patients. Who do you work with? I work with Urshia Khan and her students at the University of Minnesota, Duluth. We have a great team. I love working with Urshia and her students, and I look forward to helping a dementia patient. I have multiple sensors that can track and recognize objects on speech. People who have dementia need a lot of care, 24-7 care, and uh, it's impossible with human beings to be present with somebody who has dementia 24-7. So what we would like to do is use robots in providing care. So we are not going to replace care providers, but we would like to augment care by helping out with robotics. When somebody is recently diagnosed with uh, dementia, which is the MCI stage mild cognitive impairment, we would send that person home with Pepper. And Pepper would follow them, live with them, and at that stage, their daily living activities are still intact. So they know what they usually do. You know, they may get up in the morning, take a shower, go for a run, come back, have some breakfast, read the news, and go to work. So Pepper will follow them and learn their daily living activities. And as they progress in dementia and they start to forget uh, their daily living activities, like they may forget to take a shower or they may forget to have breakfast, Pepper will remind them and help assist in those daily living activities. So for instance, if the person made omelette for breakfast every morning and forgets how to make omelette, Pepper would offer the recipe. And if the person forgot to go for a run, Pepper might say, hey, you know, you haven't done your exercise for today. Would you like to do it now? Do you want me to remind you how to do your exercise? So, so help maintain their quality of living. So delay their getting into assisted living care. Pepper, smile. Face recognition could have Pepper recognize a couple of people, which at some point the user, which is our dementia patient, might not be able to recognize. We can also like avoid social isolation of the patient by having Pepper have some kind of conversation with them. Like obviously the current world being it is, there's we kind of become aware that there's like a lot of really bad ways you can use technology. Like, so it's nice to like actually be working on something that's using technology for good and that can help people. So I guess some of it's very rewarding to work on a project like this. As an engineer, I think in terms of, you know, well, how can I make this application work? It's more than that, you know. We are working with human beings and we have to understand this ethics related there. So we have an ethicist who works with us as well. She's, she looks like an alien, <laughs> she looks like. She's really cute. So like, obviously when you join a program, you're not really sure where, what's gonna be next after Mm, like after you're done graduating but like my experience over time with the research over here it like it really encouraged me to continue with the research track i'm driven to help assist people with dementia use techno technology in helping them at least maintain their quality of life if not improving their quality of life